Hi, this is Mike from M2 Photography, and in this video, we'll showcase my new do-it-yourself slow motion time-lapse cable cam using Actobotics parts. Most of the parts on this rig have been purchased from Servo City, who offer Creative Minds the ability to build fun and functional projects. This will be my third rig for time-lapse sequences using Actobotics parts. Check out my blog at m2-photo.com for information on the mini slider and the slow motion ladder dolly. In this clip, I have sped up the sequence to show the cable car moving along the cable. I have two different pinion and hub gear combinations along with motors with different speeds. With the biggest hub gear, the rig moves at a little less than 10 feet an hour using a half RPM gear motor. With the smaller hub gear, it travels at about 25 feet an hour. I plan on using this with two different camera combinations. The first will use dual GoPro HD3 Hero cameras mounted on servo blocks using a continuous rotation high-tech servo. This allows me to rotate the cameras using a remote control receiver. Having the GoPro's Wi-Fi turned on will also allow me to view where the camera is pointing through the GoPro iPad or Android app. Please keep in mind that the only portion of this rig that is remote controlled is the camera gimbal. The purpose of this cable cam rig is to get motion time-lapse sequences over a larger distance than you could get from a slider. Every single cable cam that I've ever seen has been geared towards capturing video. This rig moves along the cable very slowly and has been designed for capturing time-lapse sequences. There is a micro limit switch mounted on the aluminum beam which can stop the rig once it gets to the end of the cable. I would assume that I'll be waiting for it when it gets close to the end, but adding the limit switch will help prevent motor burnout if it is left unattended. I can also use the cable cam ring without the RC components and servo blocks and attach a simple mini ball head and my Sony NEX5 camera or any camera that has a built-in intervalometer. Unfortunately, winter has made a comeback in Wisconsin, so after a few days of tolerable winter weather, I may not be able to test this rig until it's warmed up a bit. I had hoped to post a video of the time-lapse sequence made from this rig, but I'll have to wait. I have allocated a 50-foot coated wire, a hand winch, and some lifting straps. Basically, the nylon straps will protect whatever tray I attach this thing to, and the come-along winch will help get the slack out of the wire. I don't think I can get this too tight as it might put too much pressure on the rig and bend some parts, so I'll need to be careful. I believe that the wire is 1 8 inch and a plastic coating makes the outside 3 16 of an inch. A list of all parts used to build this rig have been posted on my blog. Be sure to watch for any time-lapse sequences captured in 2014 with one of my custom do-it-yourself rigs built from Servo City Actobatics parts. Thank you for watching.